the man before you is a champion of light. He is part of a conflict between darkness and light that is both ancient and eternal. He is chasing a dangerous quarry, the Herald of Darkness. <laughs> His evil doppelganger, known only as Mr. Scratch. Maybe, but what are you gonna do then? By then, I'll have had my hands on everything you love. out from the darkness that surrounds the shores of our reality. He has come to fight a decisive battle in Night Springs. That again. In another life, the man was a writer. He still practices that art, forging weapons of war out of ideas. But the violent currents that brought him here have scattered the pages he has written. The lights of the motel promise safety. The man senses that the solution to his predicament begins there. Somewhere within the earth, space itself has been pierced, and from dark depths runs a steady flow of monsters. The man recognizes the hand of his evil double in this. He knows he must put an end to this madness. I guess it's about time I went full auto. Hello? Hey, 
Hi, it's you. There. You remember me, right? Emma? Emma Sloan? I think you might have something that belongs to me. Really? Typewritten page? Oh, yeah, that's weird. I, I did find a page like that. I don't even know where it came from. It was all this weird stuff about the oil derrick and its satellite. Yes, that's what I'm looking for. Oh, well, I don't know how you knew I had it, but I, I guess it's yours. Listen, what's this all about? There are these really creepy guys hanging around the oil derricks. There's something really weird about them. They're dangerous. I'm gonna deal with them. Try to stay out of their sight, okay? And stay in the light. They hate the light. Just to be clear, you should know that we haven't actually met before. Sure we have, Mr. Wake. Remember you stayed at the motel here. No, the guy you're talking about just looks like me, even if he uses my name. He's behind all this trouble. Oh, I thought, um, now that you mention it, I guess your aura looks a lot nicer than his, actually. I'm very The Champion of Light recognizes like the page he got from the woman. It is a weapon of his own design, custom engineered to destroy the dark portal. If he recreates the conditions of the page, a great power will be unleashed. Oh, hell. This isn't gonna be good. Is this on? How can you tell? I'm sorry, I'm not very good with gadgets. Ah, that's more like it. I'll be right with you. I just gotta do this one thing. I like it quiet. I bet you're wondering why this is happening. Why am I doing all this? Why am I so hell-bent on ruining your life? You're cramping my style. You've got money, fame, everything you could want. But you don't know what to do with it. I do. I'm getting all the things you never had the balls to go for. Having more fun, too. <laughs> Do you know the real difference between us? I'm not afraid to be the center of attention. This poor slob's just collateral damage, really. I mean, I made some information out of him earlier. But this part, this is just for kicks. down. Just one more to go.
tears itself in two to avoid the hated light. It becomes weaker. Such is the arithmetic of horror. That was just messed up. That's everything. The man has found the battery, tells me but really it is gonna empty. Need the extra it will need to be recharged. Need this battery charged. No problem. Here you go. Thanks. Listen, I don't know what's gonna happen exactly when I do this. My memory's a little hazy. I don't even know what that means. All I'm saying is you don't want to come anywhere near the oil field, all right? This thing could get out of hand. In the middle of highly flammable materials. Great. I'll do my best to contain it. Just, please don't turn out to be some kind of crazy terrorist guy, okay? Okay, I'm gonna go now. Wish me luck. Wait a sec, I want to ask you about something first. What did you mean with that my memory's a little hazy thing? I had a pretty rough time coming here. It was like being caught in a tsunami. I blacked out for a while. It's hard to explain. There's a... A barrier of sorts that I had to break through. I was lucky to make it here with my wits as intact as they are. So you might have brain damage. You're about to do great things with a magic piece of paper, and you came here from another dimension? No, I'm from New York. I, I was just visiting another dimension. Oh, yeah, okay. My bad. Time to make some serious changes.
I got him. You're safe. I need you to tell me what you know about him. The guy who looks like Meg. He... There was a, there was a party in one of the rooms. It, it was pretty wild. I, um, I'm not sure which room it was in. You didn't attend? I, no, I wasn't there. But it got way out of hand. Anyway, I, I heard that he went to the diner and there was a fight there or something. Maybe you could find out more from there. I, I, I got some keys that you could maybe use. You just happen to have the keys, huh? Fine. I'll take a look. Stay here. Like hell. I'm getting out of here as soon as you leave so I can close up this place and go home. Emma, you really want to stay here in the light. Yeah, thanks for the advice, but I'm not sticking around. Just go already, okay? Are you okay? I guess. Thanks for the help. Were those the... what do you call them? The Taken? What are they? About to enjoy another cool Arizona night with me, Eddie Rodman, the host with the books. A poltergeist. Its existence is one of rage and hostility and its very presence turns ordinary objects into deadly projectiles. Shit! Scene. Traces of violence. A callous midnight snack. A room key left carelessly behind. The man recognizes the enemy's handiwork. I think these are keys for the motel rooms. Satellite and now this? That place might be involved. was a believer in a great many things, most of which were entirely fallacious. <coughs> Emma Sloan, an innocent victim of his dark half. More collateral damage in the ongoing war. Damned by forces beyond her control by her own actions. Michael Farabee, dead, tortured, 
dressed in clothes that bore the name of a local observatory. A slim lead, but solid enough. It stirs something deep in his mind. He knows where to go that now. Be my next stop. The observatory, hot on the heels of the Herald of Darkness, the Champion of Light forges on to see the stars. An observatory, a place for a man to witness the magnificence of the universe. But such insights are not what the champion of light is looking for. He has come to find a weapon. 